Yeah, it's interesting. As we're watching some of the uh, the atmospheric conditions over the next several days, we could actually see some enhanced rainfall by the end of this week. Now, okay. nothing like what our friends across Texas no. are dealing with, of course. As the storm continues to head inland throughout the day, it does get sheared apart with the friction of the land. So it will become uh, from a hurricane to a tropical storm as the day goes on and perhaps even a remnant low later tonight into tomorrow. So the latest on barrel right now, it did make landfall near Matagorda to Texas and the wind gusts up to 100 miles per hour wind speed sustained at 80 that is a category one hurricane moving north at about 12 miles per hour as it continues to head farther inland expecting it to again get sheared apart so by Tuesday morning 40 mile per hour maximum wind speeds but carrying in tons of heavy rain across the Arklatex region across the lower Mississippi valleys and into the Ohio valleys and perhaps the Great Lakes by Wednesday into Thursday some of that rainfall may be enhanced for us as we see a little bit of an area of low pressure moving our way. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Temperatures right now for today here locally, it's all about the heat and the humidity with temperatures in the 60s and 70s. It's already a very soupy start to the day. And you notice that along the coast, southeastern mass, I showed you some of the foggy conditions. That dense fog remains uh, for the next several hours. A high temps today eventually nearing 90 degrees for Boston. Low 90s farther inland, though, that's where we anticipate the worst of the heat index. So you're 91 degrees across Brockton by 3 p.m., feeling more like 97 degrees. The soupy air mass sticks around for a while, not only for today, but tomorrow into Wednesday as well and beyond. So heat advisories with the heat and humidity combined, those advisories are just outside of greater Boston and interior southeastern Massachusetts. Lows tonight back in the 70s, not a lot of relief on the way, with the overnight lows staying very, very hot and humid. And tomorrow we're back in the 90s. It's going to be the hottest day of the week for at least Boston with that high of 90 and heat index mid 90s to near 100 degrees. So how about barrel? Well, there's that area of low pressure as it becomes a remnant hurricane. Uh, the effects of the rainfall are going to be enhanced here. So the remnants of the storm moving into St. Louis and Cincinnati by Tuesday afternoon. We see a chance for some thunderstorms Tuesday and I'll address more about that in the next half hour. There's the enhanced rainfall, though. We're transporting all that moisture here across the north and east by the end of this week. So enhanced rainfall, one, two inches perhaps of rain at least going into Thursday. Here's our expected rainfall, and I only show you through Thursday, about half an inch to an inch. And there could be more as we go through the end of the week as well, keeping in rain chances for Friday into Saturday and some thunderstorms mixed in from time to time, too. Temperatures in the 80s, a very, very hot, humid 10-day in the forecast.